my name is Ederson Oliveira and I will be presenting this video for theanandhero.com and in this video I'll be talking about how we can create uh, a page template uh, uh, in your .NET Nook website so whenever you want to create a new page you can use that template as a starting point so uh, here we have a, a test site uh, a, a sample site what we're gonna do now is log into the backend and I'm gonna log in as host And I'm going to, to show an example, first of all, of how uh, a, a, a standard default installation of .NETNUC behaves in relation to a template. What .NETNUC bring, brings uh, by default as a template. So if we click, if we click new, and I'm going to call this page as article. This is the article page. And when we scroll down, we can see a, a drop-down option that says a page template. It, it, it basically has two templates. One is called default and the other one is called user profile. I'm going to uh, stick with the default template and I'm just gonna uh, make this visible to all users and click update. Well, a page with this name already exists in the site. Okay, so let's go to the recycle bin make sure that I clear this recycle bin before because I want to create with that name so let's clear the recycle bin and and it's all cleared now now I'm I'm going back to new I'm gonna call this article and now we will not have a problem and then I'm gonna stick with page template as default. All users will be able to see this page and click update. So here's my new page. I'm just gonna flip that between home and so just uh, to reposition that after home. Okay. So here's my article page. So that default template that I have select that actually was the default selection. What that template comes with? It's basically with this uh, text HTML module that comes by default inside the container, the content pane. So this is basically what the default contain the default template uh, bring to us uh, out of the box. Now here's what I want to do. I want to create an article template page. Uh, that I will use any time that I want to create a new article page. Again, articles you can you can uh, find specific modules to deal with articles, but just for the sake of our example here, um, I'm not going to use any particular any specific third-party module for articles. I'm going to create uh, an article template, and any time that I want to create a new article, I'm going to create a new page and use that article template as as the starting point. So. Here are the elements that I want to see in my article page. I want to see the main content. Uh, let's, let's flip this to layout mode. I want to see the main content of my article inside the content pane. And I want to see related articles inside the right pane. And I also want to see another module in under the content pane that will be called social links. So I want to put uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, I want to put some, some links there. Okay, okay, so let's flip this back to edit mode. I'm just gonna uh, edit the this uh, uh, text HTML module as right here under settings and I'm gonna call it uh, main article. I'm gonna call this main article content. I'm just gonna save this. So here we have an error that will be our main article contents. I'm just going to put some sample contents. This is the content area. I'm going to save this. So we have our main content area specified. Now we're going to place uh, related articles in the right, uh, right pane. So let's go back to edit mode. Let's uh, call this related articles and it will be placed under the right pane. So I'm going to add the module there and also in addition to the main article content I'm going to put another HTML module called the uh, social links. 
in the bottom side of the uh, content pane. So let me add this module there as well. So we have social links, related articles, main article content. Let's let's have a look how this is looking like from a front end point of view. Let's get this uh, URL. I have uh, uh, Internet Explorer open as well, and I'm going to go to this page. So here's how it's looking like right now. I need to put some simple content for those two uh, additional modules. So I'm going to go to the related links, edit content. I'm going to put some links here for the sake of example. So I'm going to create article one. Uh, I'm going to make this a link to, uh, for now, I just want to, I don't have any other article. I just want to uh, put a symbol there just to uh, represent a, a link. I'm going to also add another article to, again, just to give an example of how this would look like. And I'm just going to make it point to nowhere at this point. So we have some simple contents. I'm going to save this. And I'm also going to, going to add social links in uh, the content of the social links uh, module. So I'm going to add, edit the content here. I'm going to put some stuff here. Okay, so I have put some social links here, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. Uh, save this content. Again, this is just uh, for the sake of example. Let's have a look at how our article uh, pages look like from front-end point of view. So here we have our, uh, our article page. I still want to change a couple of things. I want to remove this print option and this maximize, minimize option from each one of those three modules. So let's do that now. So back there in edit mode, because we'll go to the first one, settings, and then uh, under page settings, allow print and uh, maximize uh, none, collapse and expand. So let's update here. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other two. OK, so I have done that. I have removed those icons from the three modules. Let's have a look at how it's looking like here. So OK, perfect. So those maximize, minimize, and the print options are all gone. The, the other thing that I want to do is I want to remove this social links title. I don't want to have social links title here, just the, the three icons, that, uh, that's, that's fine. So let's go back here, go under uh, settings, in the action menu, and then I'm going to go to page settings, and I'm going to uh, uncheck display container, and I'm going to update this. It's showing up here it's still because we are in edit mode, in admin mode, but let's go back to the front end. Let's refresh this page. And here it's how it's looking like. So I want you to set this up as my template. So again, I have a, a, a the basic skeleton of my template page, my article page. I have the main content here at the top. I have the uh, related articles on the right side, and I have my social links on the button of the main article. So I want to turn this into a template. So each and every time that I want to create a new article, I can start from here. All those modules will be in place. The symbol content will be in place as well. And again, I have a starting uh, base much better than the, the standard default template that comes with dot that took, which only has one HTML uh, text module. So the next step is let's go back to host and then under admin, let's go to, sorry, under host, let's go to portals and under portals, let's go to the action menu and let's go to the option that says export portal, portal templates. So from here, the default portal is selected. I'm just going to call this template, give this template a name, call it article. I'm going to call the template description as article as well. We can go into more details here. And you're going to check this box that says include content. So let's keep this checked and let's click export template. This is the end of part one of the video, how to create a page template in .NET Nook.